So today I have a real time story to tell you about some astrology that impacts myself. I have Saturn in rulership in the first house as well as Jupiter in rulership in the first house. And both are retrograde and must manage together. Jupiter is my first rulership and Saturn being the second. I went for a walk, which I do every other day for my health, as I have me major medical issues that require my constant vigilance and care. And you can see here I have a red lamp on my, my leg and I have a bandage and my toes are sticking out. What happened to me? Well, the chart shows of the event itself that yes, I went for a walk, little short trip on my feet. And within my seventh house, I have Saturn, which ruled my house of medical, which was in Aquarius, which is going to be your ankles. I am walking along and within five degrees of the sixth house is Pluto in Aquarius. Now, you might ask yourself, how does that equal a broken ankle? Well, that Pluto is saying, that something ever so slightly has been transformed. It's not quite to the cusp of the sixth house yet, but it's within five degrees. So it's easy to assess that this was an accident that created injury, but it's curiously retrograde, where all I must do to understand the diagnosis at this point is ask myself, uh, what have I done to this ankle before? Well, I was an ice skater and I broke it. And because it's Saturn, it relates to the bones. It is Saturn is in Pisces, which is going to be disposed of by Jupiter, which was in Taurus, getting ready to go into a Gemini sign, so late in sign, suggesting that perhaps there is some late stage problems with my bones, which of course there is. I have osteoporosis. So I am sitting here right now with a broken ankle. I was walking, and for those of you with major medical conditions such as myself, it's worth noting that as we get older and we have a little bit of failure to thrive, which is something I have, I tend to stay kind of on the rather thin side as a, a an aging female. I'm considered borderline underweight. And although at this point it's not serious, at times it does get rather serious for me. What is the consequence of this? Well, I can tell you right now, the consequence is bone health. When our weight goes up and down, up and down, one of the things that happens is our body borrows from wherever it needs minerals and resources, and it borrows from the bones. So, to make a long story short here, I have osteoporosis. And although I've heard of people having broken bones from simple little things. I hadn't really considered that it would ever be me that would break a bone from just something as simple as walking. But here I am today. I was uh, walking and I thought maybe when I fell that I fell off of the, the street and onto a grassy area. Well, but in retrospect, when you're falling and you've got a broken bone, you don't really think very clearly. I'm falling down. I'm clearly not 
off of the road. I'm still on the road and I kind of push myself to fall if I'm going to fall towards the softer material. And so I broke my bone, not from a fall. I broke it from walking. And so mind your bone health. I have a scan on uh, June 1st, so I'm going to be going in and getting looked at more closely for my overall health. But mind your bone health, because in this case now, where I'm dealing with late stage disease, and on top of it, I have failure to thrive, I just broke my ankle bone, and the indications are for my sixth house, Pluto and Aquarius, the ankle bone things being transformed. And I can just tell you right now, things have been transformed. I cannot walk and that is just huge for me. So I have my lovely walker right here, which I'm very grateful for. I, I had a walker here for, for something else, for somebody else. And I realized, oh my goodness, I could use that. So here I am today, Sunday, Mother's Day, nursing a broken ankle. With that, like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for joining here today.